All right, welcome back everybody. So today is the day that you're gonna learn how to play Bad Moon Rising by CCR. Just how you hear it on the record and you're gonna learn the trick. If you, if you found it elusive um, to play this song, when you're saying to yourself, this is a super easy song, it's just D, A, and G. Why is it when I play it, it doesn't sound anything like the record? Why is that? Well, I'm gonna answer that question for you today. But first, if you like this kind of thing, Jump down and click subscribe and ring the bell. The bell will let you know every time I drop new content, which I do every single week. Um, all my lessons have chapters in them, so you can jump right to the part of the lesson that you want to see and bypass what you don't. And if you're looking for other ways to support the channel, I really appreciate that. There's thanks, which is a button right below, like throwing a tip in the tip jar. Or you can join my Patreon page where I do chord charts and tabs for all the lessons that I do on YouTube, like this one. Um, and other exclusive content for my members that are there. So all the links are in the description, so check it out. Okay, so Bad Moon Rising. So if you're one of the many people who have struggled with the song a little bit, um, but you know, you, you got a little guitar under your belt, you know what's going on, but for some reason, it's just not sounding right, right? So um, the trick is that John Fogarty, um, guitar player for Creedence Clearwater Revival, when he wrote this song, and he wrote other songs this way too, um, he took his guitar and he tuned it down a whole step. So it's in standard, normally, you know, E standard tuning. We'll tune everything down a step and you're in D standard tuning now. So your strings go D, uh, what is that? G, C, F, A, and D. So now when you make an E-shaped chord, that's actually in the key of D, right? So if you haven't done so already and you want to play along, take a moment, pause the video, <laughs> and tune your guitar down with me, um, and I'll see you when you come back. Okay, um, so in terms of tone, um, on this song, and I think on a, there's many songs, by the way, if you, if you aren't hip to this yet. So... The thing that gives it away, if you're ever watching old video footage of CCR Live or even Fogarty now when he's touring, if you see him on his black custom, uh, Les Paul custom, that means that's his guitar. That's his tuned down guitar. So um, there's lots of songs on CCR that are that are done this way. So, uh, you know, this one, Proud Mary is another one. Um, Fortunate Son is another one. Um, Heard It Through the Grapevine. That's, that's another one. I'll do a lesson on that one one day too, probably. Um, but that's the, that's the giveaway. If you see him pick up that guitar, it's because that's his, that's his tuned down to the key of D guitar. Um, and that's going to be a big part of the magic of all of these songs. So sounds best on a Les Paul, in my opinion, because um, that's what he's using. And because I wanted to play my new Les Paul gold top, which I just am loving with these P90 pickups. Um, middle position for this song. All right, so because you've tuned down, when you fret an E-shaped chord, you're in the key of D, which means when you fret a B-shaped chord, you're in the key of A, that's right. And your A-shaped chord is in the key of G, right. So that's that's what it is. So the core, the 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 key of the song, you're right, is D. The chords are D, A, and G. But you're gonna play your D, A, and G this way: D, A, or A7, I guess, and G. So from now on, though, I'm just gonna call out the chord shape. So I'm gonna probably call this an E. I call this a B, you know, and an A, but that's why, you know, you get it, right? You get it. Okay, so let's go to the intro of the song, right? So first chord of the song is a D, but he's playing it up here um, at the seventh fret at this, this position, in this E, sort of an E chord position, right? So you're gonna start here. Mm -hmm. 
and that's it, <laughs> right? It already sounds like it. So it's that shape. It's your B shape, your A shape at the fifth fret, and then your E shape open. And that little riff there, that's the giveaway that you're in, you know, if you know the song is in D and you're hearing that riff, he's fretting it like an E chord, so that's a little giveaway there. Later on, we're going to see it's all the same thing. It's that, it's that E-shaped chord that's happening in all those positions. So from then on, your verses are just an E shape, B7 shape, and A. So that's the sort of verse that's going on. Now Tom Fogarty, his brother, is playing along in a normal standard tuned guitar. He's got a guild hollow body, like an ES-335, kinda. I forget the model name for guild. Um, but he's playing in standard tuning. So when he's playing a D, he's playing a normal, traditional D chord. Sounds like this. Right? So John is playing this chord. And Tom is playing this chord at the same time. And it's the mix of the two that give you that CCR sound. So that's like the 85% of, of getting you there to really sound like CCR. It is, is for these songs, you need to have a guitar tuned down a step and then you have another one playing rhythm along with you in normal standard tuning. But that's part of the magic, right? Um, okay, so back to your... Back to your uh, guitars here. So your verse. And then when it goes to don't go around tonight. Or as my wife likes to say, there's a bathroom on the right. There you go. All right. Um, and then uh, I think that's the whole song, right? For rhythm. Don't go around tonight. Yeah, that's it for rhythm guitar. So let's talk about the lead now. So the lead... Um, is now building off of this E shape, but he's going to be using the second position E shape. Right? That one. And the way he's going to go with this, it's all sort of chord, chord, chorded based solos, which are some of my favorite solos, by the way. Um, not single note stuff. So it's just, he's taking basically strings four down through one um, on all of these chord shapes that we're going to do. So the first one is an E shaped here. It's going to slide into it. Then a B shape. A shape. And an open E shape. Again. B shape. Now we're going to come up here and do this A shape and back to our E shape. And we finish that one off with a little, whoops. So you're just gonna pick those notes backwards, one to three. Put your pinky on seven on the first string and then pick it off. Right, let's do those two again. So that's how that finishes off. Then we're going to go to this A shape here, E shaped A shape, or blah. This chord <laughs> up at the fifth fret. Down your E. Seventh fret. 
fifth fret. Okay, so one time, let's run through it again. all there is to it so the rest is just verses until you get to the out but uh yeah that's pretty much it okay so that was ccr bad moon rising and i hope you learned something new today um if you haven't done so already and you like this click subscribe and ring the bell the bell will let you know every time i do um, a new piece of content which i do every single week um, let me know in the comments what you thought about this and if there's another song you want me to take on and do let me know that too okay so until next week Take care, everybody.